So right now, we're out here on a uh, little spring run and um, watching Jack kind of catch some turtles. We're on our way to another site to do some alligator snapping, turtle trapping, but we passed this on the way and it was just too good to pass up. So I'm following Jack around. I've got the little dive flag on the canoe. So I'm making sure he's doing this safely, but pretty cool stuff. It's always neat to see the turtles that we find out here. And the water's just so clear, it's awesome. It's like um, kayaking and swimming around in like a swimming pool. And you can see all the beautiful eel grass on the bottom. It's, it's really amazing. There's loggerhead musk turtles, different species of cooters, snapping turtles, soft shells. Got an anhinga over there sunning itself. Um, just a lot of really cool stuff. Let's see that one, Jack. Oh, nice. It's a nice one. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a really pretty one. Yeah. Little female. Looks like it. She's got like a lemia on her back. Yeah. Got it. He's got a big bite out of it. They get him, bigger than that here. I'm telling you, the big ones are like a chitake. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, here we go. Next. Yeah, you too. Ow, don't bite me. Little logger, look for more. Little loggerhead muscle. Look at that guy. Very different looking than the ones we get in the Flint River. You know, this being further south in Florida, you know, they're definitely going to be a little bit different. Uh, but still fill basically the same little ecological role here in the spring, eating a lot of snails and crustaceans and stuff like that. And strong little jaws. And they got like a long little neck too. It's such an awesome animal. All right, buddy. Don't bite me. I'm going to let you go. Pew, 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 pew. Look, he disappears into that grassy stuff. Yeah, they just go. Wow. Look at him scoot across the bottom. After having some fun in the springs, me and Jack headed over to a site where we've been doing a study on a population of alligator snapping turtles. Uh, this is done through FWC. Let's do that. That was that rebar. Have a dollar. Yeah. Have a dollar to the side One of the traps was awesome because when we rolled up to it, you could actually see the turtle's nose poking out of the trap. Guys, want to take a photo? Even though we only got two snapping turtles this time, it was still just awesome to see them in this habitat and just in an area that's totally different and, you know, potentially even unnatural. Uh, but we always get some and every single time they're good looking turtles, very healthy. Um, and these are the Sewanee alligator snapping turtles. And it's always awesome to see them slip back into the water.
After doing alligator snapping turtles, I went to another site and I was looking to see spotted turtles in the wild, something I've never seen before. And the habitat is really, really awesome because it's this like shallow, swampy, flooded forest and it's just full of cottonmouths. Everywhere you look, there was a cottonmouth. I know I'm gonna be terrible at it because I'm looking at the habitat and knowing what a spotted turtle looks like and having had one in captivity and seen other people's in captivity. I know how good they can hide and exactly what I'm up against in something like this. But seeing the first spotted turtle was amazing. It was basking on a log and it was almost barely visible. All right, so, see, look at that, it's such a pretty turtle. And like the habitat it lives in, just so amazing. The colors on the bottom, just, look at that. What a gem, look at the face on that, unreal. They're such a tiny little turtle. Uh, it's really hard to even see them. And then when you do, it's just, they're almost like magical. So we're gonna release this female back right where we found her. Her basking logs over here. Just gonna gently set her down in the water. Let her disappear, there you go. Look at that. Almost can't even see it. You stand up. That thing might as well be invisible. Super cool. What is it? disturbing it. It's not a capture I'm looking forward to making. <laughs> you know, it, it's gonna go it's gonna go inside that that tree. Oh that's a pretty one. It is, isn't it? Very yellow. Yeah, it's a nice snake. There goes the tail. Come in the swamp, but I had traps right along the road, and one trap. What I like about cotton mouse is they're probably the most laid back snake you can come across. Um, the most they're gonna do is kind of flash the white of their mouth. And some of them will take off and hide. Okay, he's chasing no one. Stop chasing no one. Sorry. Look on the island. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is too cool. Just right there on that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Dirk found the second spotted turtle basking on a small clump sure. of basically moss and grass. And he was just sitting there looking at us. Didn't even try to jump off. Oh, well, that's not even here. Big female? Yeah, it looks like a female. Look at that. Wow. You'll pose for a photo. Wow. wow. Look at that. You like that? Friggin' awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Now I know I can get a photo of one because this one does not care. <laughs> All right, so this beautiful mature female spotted turtle uh, is the one that Dirk walked up on. She was actually basking right there. And so we're going to let her go right back into this extremely, extremely simple habitat. It's interesting, it's just so shallow and, you know, just basic, but that is where these guys live. So watch this, just watch her disappear. Look at that, and you would never know. It's so cool. Really stoked. Um, this is my first time ever seeing spotted turtles in the wild and getting to um, do any field work with them, and I'm just, Super thankful to Dirk Stevenson 
and just, I mean, talk about living a dream. Now I gotta figure out how I get out of here. Where am I? Oh boy. <laughs> We ended up getting one female indigo and she was possibly gravid. So we kind of kept everything brief. Um, we did get some measurements and a weight on her and scanned her pit tag. So she was a recapture. And we just let her go. Kind of let her slip back into the forest. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, share it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.